We warned you to back out from this mess, but you refused. We warned you to back out from this mess, but you insisted and refused. Northern governors tells Jibril and Malami over the constantly keeping Mazinam Dekano in custody for no reason. There's a bigger breakage here and uh, of course we we must know that there's a bigger picture that each and every one of us has to understand. We're not going to let go. It's not gonna be a child's play. It's going it's not gonna be a brouhaha. But who much is given, much is expected. You see, I came online and I was telling people about uh Mazinam Dikanu's greatness and how he has managed to conquer every battles that arrived his way how he managed to win them roast them crucify them and made nonsense of them now malami is running around because russia is already on ground they are willing to do everything possible to make sure that those who uh uh those who try to shame Mazen Amdekano, who try to make him feel less of himself, are now being taken to that very position where they must learn and understand the biggest picture. They're now backing out. One by one, all of them are backing out. They are now, yeah, they, they have left you behind. <laughs> they have left you behind. So you see, those who keep making noise and keep saying one or two things have now realized that the man they are fighting is bigger. Bigger, faster, wiser, and everything that you, you, you ought to think about. And that's where he belongs. Mazen Namdikanu is not a man and that you should joke with. People who already who already who will be affected by this risk because a lot of judgment will be passed are already backing out. They know the consequences. They know what will happen. They know how it will happen. So they are already backing out. And that's one of the biggest energy. They are already backing out. They say you're on your own. Jibril, you're on your own. Malami, you're on your own. What you started, you will finish it. And so our leader is great. You know one thing with Namdikan is that if you keep him in prison, he will be in prison. He loves there. He loves there so much. He will be in prison. He will allow justice to prevail. Finally, he will come out. That's his life. When uh, he was in prison a few years ago, they said that the Boko Haram of the eyes who have came to attack the prison. He sat put. He wasn't even panicking. When they came, some people escaped. He was still there. Because they want him to escape. But this man is not escaping. This man was not escaping. He said, what kind of man is this? He said, why will I run away when I know that I've committed no crime? If I run away, they will not hold it against me that, okay, they came to attack and I ran away. Just like the way he, he escaped the, the attack, the gruesome attack that was carried out by Nigerian soldiers, Nigerian governments. They started saying that he ran away. He, he, he jumped bail. You see, this man is a man of wisdom. There's only a tree that will see the cutter putting fuel in his generator to destroy him and he will stand one place. Because they cannot run away, they have roots. So they can't run away. But a human being will always find a way out. That's what Mazen and Bikano did. He found his way out. And that is it. We must learn and we must understand president a dead man and the man in power is Jibril of Al Sudan they refuse to bring that one in court yes Nigerians are still clapping for 
they are, they are tormentors. Still clapping for them. In a bid to, to celebrate their ignorance. What has happened? Five northern governors have to back out because Russian is about to, first of all, begin with Abuja. Yes. So if these people refuse to allow peace to reign, then I sure do know that they understand the disadvantage. I sure do know they understand the disadvantage. And if care is not taken, a lot of things will go wrong before the main thing begins to go right. That is why we are warning them profusely, telling them to do the needful immediately. Because the ears that are supposed not to hear this is now hearing it. And it's getting them more angry. You can't keep a man that has done nothing in the court, in the prison. They went to DSS. Look at how, how our security operators have been reduced to nothing. First of all, they reduced the police to nothing. Second of all, they reduced DSS to nothing. No, not DSS. They reduced uh, our military men to nothing. Now they have reduced our DSS to nothing. DSS now follows the order that the president says. The cabal says not even what the court has to say. And what do they have to tell you? What do they have to tell you? That our mission to restore Biafra shouldn't be taken for granted. As an Amdi kind of said it. But the last miracle that will happen in the surface of this earth is Biafra. And here we are, jubilating in freedom, jubilating in, in greatness. Because there's no room, no room, no room for what have you. So let's be guided. Let's be guided.